Hey, what's up, fellow INFJs? Welcome back to Herox Dose, the channel where we talk about all things INFJ and how to unleash your inner hero. I'm your host, Herox, and today we're going to talk about a topic that many of you have requested, INFJ Rage. Yes, you heard me right, INFJ Rage. The emotional breaking point of someone with the rarest and most misunderstood personality type in the world. You might think that INFJs are always calm, gentle, and peaceful, but trust me, we have a dark side too. And when we get angry, it's not pretty. So what is INFJ rage? How does it happen? And how can we deal with it? In this video, I'm going to unveil the five stages of INFJ rage and share some tips on how to manage your anger in a healthy way. If you're ready to dive into this topic, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get started. Stage one, denial. This is when we feel angry, but we don't want to admit it or show it to anyone. We might think that anger is a negative emotion that goes against our core values and our desire for harmony. We might feel guilty or ashamed for being angry and try to suppress it or rationalize it. But denying our anger doesn't make it disappear. It only makes it worse. When we ignore our anger, we're ignoring a part of ourselves that needs attention and care. We're also ignoring the signals that something is wrong in our environment or in our relationships. Anger is a natural and healthy emotion that tells us that our boundaries have been violated, our needs have been ignored, or our values have been challenged. So instead of denying our anger, we need to acknowledge it and accept it as part of our human experience. We need to give ourselves permission to feel angry and express it in a constructive way. We need to understand the root cause of our anger and what it's trying to tell us. Stage two, avoidance. This is when we feel angry, but we don't want to confront the source of our anger or deal with the situation. We might think that confrontation is too stressful or risky and that it will only make things worse. We might fear that we will lose control of our emotions or hurt someone else's feelings. But avoiding our anger doesn't make it go away either. It only makes it grow. When we avoid our anger, we're avoiding the opportunity to resolve the conflict and restore the balance. We're also avoiding the chance to stand up for ourselves and assert our rights. Anger is a powerful and positive emotion that motivates us to take action and make changes. So instead of avoiding our anger, we need to face it and address it in a respectful way. We need to communicate our anger clearly and calmly and listen to the other person's perspective. Stage three, explosion. When we can't contain our anger anymore, we might lash out or say hurtful things, but this only damages relationships and reputations. Instead of exploding, we should find healthy outlets for our anger, channeling it into productive or creative pursuits. Stage four, withdrawal. In this stage, we isolate ourselves feeling misunderstood or hurt. But withdrawing won't heal the anger. It'll only prolong it. Instead, we should reconnect, practice self-care, and reach out to loved ones. Stage five, transformation. This is when we feel angry and we use it as a catalyst for growth and change. We might think that anger is a challenge that we can overcome and learn from. We might feel empowered, inspired, or enlightened by our anger. This is the stage where we can make the most of our anger and turn it into something positive and meaningful. When we transform our anger, we're not letting it control us or define us. We're using it as a tool to improve ourselves and our lives. Anger is a valuable and useful emotion that can help us achieve our goals and fulfill our potential. So how do we transform our anger? We need to reflect on our anger and what it taught us. We need to forgive ourselves and others for any mistakes or hurts that happened. We need to take responsibility for our actions and choices and make amends if necessary. We need to embrace our anger as a part of our journey and a source of our strength. Those are the five stages of INFJ rage and how to deal with them. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences on this topic. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join the Herox community. We're a group of INFJs who are passionate about personal growth, self-discovery, and making a positive impact in the world. We're always here to support you and cheer you on. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.